Hi, welcome back to Mighty Dunia YouTube channel, my dear friends. So, in this video, we will see about Gauss law statement and the proof. So, how we can see the is first of all the statement we can do is the electric flux, the total electric flux around uh, any closed irregular body is going to be. Uh, closed surface integral of d dot ds which is nothing but the charge q when closed so this is the statement of gauss law for any irregular body like this okay so it is we should prove this so we are going to take a two steps in this step number one so in the step number one we will take some irregular surface so on this We'll take some differential surface so here irregular surface of charge q this is a differential surface at point p so we'll take one d vector electric flux density making an angle theta with a n okay so here differential surface so here the flux which is is d psi so we should Prove this psi total is equals to this d dot ds and which is equal to d enclosed. So first in the step number one, so first we'll prove this psi total is equals to closed line integral of d dot ds. Okay, so here how to prove this is so here first thing is this is a line where it is a ds that is d electric flux density d d vector can be written as here it is d vector is can be written in terms of differential surface ds vector as a scalar ds multiplied by vector a n so vector can be written as scalar multiplied by a n okay so this is a ds vector okay so similarly this electric flux d psi can be written as a flux which is crossing this differential surface so flux means the total number of electric lines of forces like this which will pass through this is nothing but flux crossing this differential surface this flux crossing the differential surface can be written as d normal into ds so why this d normal is so here the flux lines which are entering this surface normally we will consider that's why it is d normal so this point we are considered as theta so here we can write this as this theta part as cos theta so cos theta written as so adjacent so we have taken a n vector divided by so hypotenuse that is d okay so here we can write it as d cos theta is the normal so it is unit vector so it is normal so instead of d normal so in scalar quantity we can write it as d cos theta multiplied by ds is there so here this d and ds we can rewrite like this and it is looking like a vector dot b vector dot product so we can write it as a b cos theta okay similarly this can be written as d vector dot ds vector it is nothing but d ds cos theta so we have used this dot product formula and this is for differential flux over the differential surface ds so suppose if we consider the total flux it is nothing but integration closed surface integration of this d psi so it is nothing but so it is this d s okay so we have proved the first part which is nothing but psi total is equals to this d dot d s as like this so similarly we can do here the step number two for step number two we should derive psi total is equals to charge enclosed 
so in this case so consider one sphere where it is having a charge q okay so here the distance r since it is positive q all the flux lines will leave the surface and reach at infinity okay so here this is the radius r so we have considered sphere okay sphere of radius r so spherical coordinate system in the spherical coordinate system we are having r theta and phi for this the differential elements here we will write r as dr theta as r d theta phi as r sin theta d theta sorry d phi r sin theta d phi these are the differential elements so here we already know that we can write psi total is equals to surface closed surface integral of d dot ds okay so what is d we know that electric flux density due to point charge can be written directly d vector as q divided by 4 pi r square into a r okay so this is equation number one okay so here d we know what is ds vector so ds vector can be written with respect to a uh, radial direction r as so here it is r dr the normal to this is the other two so for theta we should write r d theta for phi we should write r sin theta d phi so normal direction don't forget to write this a r call this as equation number two then put one and two in this equation number a so psi total is equals to surface integral of d dot ds which is equals to surface integral means two integrations we should take one for theta and other for phi so theta is 0 to 5 the range phi is 0 to 2 phi so d is nothing but q divided by 4 pi r square a r and it is so it is multiply this r square sin theta d theta d phi and it is a r so here a r dot a r is there this value is 1 and r square r square will get cancelled so here we can write q divided by 4 pi and we can write the integration theta 0 to pi sin theta d theta and phi 0 to 2 phi so it is d phi okay so it is psi total is equals to this much so now we can do this integration so this integration uh, separately psi total is equals to q divided by 4 pi what is the integration of uh, sin theta d theta so it is uh, minus cos theta the limits are 0 to pi and what is the integration of uh, d phi so it is phi so the limits are 0 to 2 pi okay so this can be written as q divided by 4 pi so minus cos phi okay so minus of minus cos 0 so it is 2 pi minus 0 so here it is q divided by 4 pi so cos pi is minus 1 minus into minus is plus 1 so cos 0 is uh, 1 so minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 so here you will get this so 2 2 into 2 4 4 pi this and this will get cancelled so you will end up with this phi total is equals to q which is enclosed so here how we can write is psi total is equals to closed line integral of d dot ds which is nothing but q enclosed this is the Gauss law proof for what type of charge point charge Q which is enclosed here okay so this is the proof so this is uh, examination point of view this is very important so Gauss law for with proof so start going like this first is step one 
prove this to this step to prove this to this that is what we have done here okay very simple only thing is uh, you can divide the system into two parts okay thank you we'll see in the next video about the next update